Well, thank you for saying that. Um, that's really kind. And like kind of the only thing um, <clears throat> like you really, really, at least I was really hoping for was in my role is that you could feel their bond. And um, I think, I think from the moment that we met, she was just very um, open and willing to get to know me. And, and so she's so inquisitive and um, insightful and, and can truly like connect over any, anything. And so um, I think it was just sort of finding these pockets during filming. Like she was just so generous with her time and with her energy with me that I think it would be like impossible not to bond with her. It was like such a natural kind of progression of our relationship in real life. And then in the film, because um, she was just really willing to like give me her time. And I think because of that, we just sort of ended up getting to know each other naturally. And then when you act with her, she's really giving and really calming. And I think I let my guard down a lot and I I'm guard down. It's not because moon song. Um, but, sorry. Uh, and I, and I, I did let my guard down and I, I think it was like just this kind of natural coming together where we just ended up both, I hope she did, but we ended up both feeling really comfortable and really like just had a lot of fun with each other. And I think that, yeah, just like forming a friendship with her made that really, really possible. And she made it very, very easy. I, I think he's, you know, um, I, I love playing these characters, by the way. I, I think it's, there, there's something very, you know, current and timely about these characters because we're, we're seeing them so often. I think he's a product of his generation. He's a product of his time in that, you know, uh, he, he's a privileged guy who has, you know, led a fairly self-centered life who, who's getting a bit of a reckoning. And this is happening. You know, it's happening all around us. Um, so, yeah, to sort of prep for for him, I, I really just tried to zero in on 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 how to make him relatable because I I feel like, you know, if if you can find a way to make the 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 villain, as it were, relatable to the audience, it it packs a bigger punch for your for your hero, you know, because it, the the audience is gets torn and they get they get a different experience saying sort of like I, I see why I don't like this guy but there's maybe something about him that I that's reflecting something back at me about myself and I love the experience when you're sort of wondering it's like like wow what what makes this you know this bad guy tick and 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 why is he being such an obstacle rather than just being oh he's an obstacle just because he's an asshole you know, because no one is just, well, I mean, I guess there, there are people out there who are just assholes and you, you, you know who you are. Uh, but I think it's much more interesting if, if, you know, there's something a little unexpected, you know, in, in, in these characters and, and, and something that you, you know, that you like about the guy. I, I think we all have that. We all have, you know, our good days, our bad days. You know, you, you know, you might meet an asshole on a great day and think he's wonderful. And you might meet someone wonderful on a bad day and think they're just absolutely horrible and, and everything in between. So that's what Michael did with this movie is he made it very authentic. He made all these characters, you know, very real and very relatable. And I, I think that's why the audience is connecting it to it so much because it's it's not offering up these characters in a way that sort of like shoves them down your throat. It just sort of says, here they are. They're fully realized human beings that you can all relate to. And, and this is the journey that they go on together. Yeah, it was amazing. That's such a great question. It, it was, it was amazing. I, they at all, they all worked so hard um, on that. And it really showed uh, it was just, it was just such a seamless performance and so clearly so boy band. It was exactly what you, what you wanted. And it made doing the scene a lot easier because we're in this crowd watching them perform on this gigantic stage. And it was like, it made my job so easy. Cause I was like, how could I not be, you know, watching this group of people just like enchanted by, by this boy band um, and having the most fun because the songs are so much fun. And so like, it was it was really special to get to see it and to see it live um, before I obviously before I saw the film, because it was just like 
such a, yeah, just such a visceral version of, of that experience. Um, it was, it was awesome. And I've never been to Coachella, so it was kind of, it was wish fulfillment for me.